Through the generous contribution of Dr. Lewis's family, we're very fortunate to be able to share with you these timeless recordings of Dr. M. W. Lewis, a self-realized American yogi. Dr. Lewis was Paramahansa Yogananda's first American disciple and dearest personal friend. The wisdom Dr. Lewis imparts through these teachings will give you a dynamic and practical insight into the ancient science of yoga as taught by Paramahansa Yogananda. This lecture's title is Do We Reincarnate? and was delivered in San Diego, California on June 12, 1955. Subject this morning, do we in reincarnate? What do you think? How many think we do? How many are not sure? How many think we don't? Well, that's good. No one is, well, perhaps one or two think we don't, but it's either between we do or we're not sure. So that's good. That's a good attitude. So let us discuss just a bit, do we reincarnate? We, we should not feel too bad, that is, if we kind of feel it's hopeless in answering this question, because we must realize one thing, it's God's greatest secret, this reincarnation. It's his greatest secret, because on the obscurity of it, on that depends first whether this drama of life continues, if everybody knew the answer to this drama of life, I think it would soon end. So on that obscurity, depends the mystery which determines the prolongation, the continuation of this drama of life, this cosmic dream. And secondly, if it was common knowledge, if everyone knew about reincarnation, no one would make the effort to know the one underlying eternal consciousness which has produced all things. No one would make the effort to know that consciousness and by making that effort get out of the delusion, you see? So we shouldn't feel too bad if we don't know the, all the answers about reincarnation. But one thing I can say is this, that there is no question of a doubt. We can satisfy ourselves theoretically, and I think we can do it this morning, as to whether we reincarnate or not, but we will never satisfy ourselves, ourselves fully until we merge with the one underlying consciousness, the dreamer, God himself. When we have that consciousness, and it is his consciousness which is sitting in each and every one of us, then, then we'll know all the answers. Then we'll know fully about, do we reincarnate? So let us realize, we can satisfy ourselves, and I think we will this morning, in a theoretical manner. Those of you who heard the Bible interpretation, I think you will agree that it sounds reasonable. But until you really will be satisfied, you must know that dreamer's consciousness, cosmic consciousness, because all lives, including yours and mine, all vehicles, are a product of that one consciousness, when you know that, then you'll know every dream that ever was in that consciousness, including your previous lives, my previous lives, all the lives of all people. So that's the answer to the question, do we reincarnate when you want to surely know, know the dreamer? And we can do that. But let us go on now to the theoretical part of it and realize this one thing. The Master suggested a way of thought which will help us in understanding this question of reincarnation. He told me many times, and he always said, never forget the dream consciousness, your own dream consciousness. Now, your own consciousness can be likened to the consciousness of God the Father. You dream, do you not? And a part of your consciousness, through the astral light flowing through the little films within us, produces the dream consciousness. Now, in part of that dream, you can live this life. 
You can continue it, make another character to come again as a little baby and grow up and all sorts of things. You can do all things in that dream consciousness. You can have several vehicles, can you not? Now remember, we are made in the image of God and our consciousness can be likened to God the Father in the same way the dreamer, cosmic consciousness, God the Father has produced this cosmic dream. Why can he not? Why does he not cause characters to come in one vehicle for a little bit? The vehicle wears out, but the underlying consciousness takes another vehicle, just like in your dream. The underlying consciousness takes another character in your dream. What's the difference? There isn't any. So I think that we do reincarnate. Remember, that's the master's suggestion. When you feel, well, I can't answer it, it's too deep for me, think of the dream. Close your eyes, make your body. Throw it away. You bring another one. Live again. So God does with his great cosmic dream. Now, going on just a bit, first let us discuss points against reincarnation. Points against reincarnation. Now, the one great argument is this, against reincarnation. I don't remember living before. So how can I say I will reincarnate? Which is a good argument. 